Hey everyone, Jojo here. I have a little different video for us today. I'm doing a thrift store haul. Uh, my husband and I went to breakfast. We usually do every Saturday and it was yummy in my tummy, but um, afterwards we go to this little thrift store. It's called Finders Keepers. It's my fave. Love it. So I didn't get all that much. I got pretty good deals, but I just thought I would share with you. I always get for my grandchildren when I see something. And today, the first thing I got was a size two Talbot Kids vest. Look at that. It looks brand new. There is not a pick on it. I don't think it's been laundered. I will wash it. It's 100% cotton. I paid 50 cent. Okay, this next thing, it said it was in the boys' shirts. But when I looked at it, it's size 36 and look what it is it is a Lacoste 36 and my mama always told me how to tell a women woman's shirt from a man's if it's right because women were always right and men were left over so I believe this is a, a petite woman's shirt because I held it up to myself and I believe at one time in my life I could have worn it so I went on ahead and bought it and I thought I would try to list it and it is in excellent condition and see it doesn't have a cuff either so that's how the sleeves look and I paid you got it 50 cent you can't beat that with a stick so hopefully I can recoup my 50 cent what you think next thing I got was for my grand oldest grandson it's a medium it's old navy but it's a cute shirt and it looks like a linen weave and it's in very good condition. I, it doesn't look like it's ever been worn that much either. And it's cool looking. It's grown up. He likes to be grown. He's going to be eight in February. And uh, got that for him. And then for the youngest grandson, <laughs> he's not this big yet, but hopefully maybe in the fall he can wear this. It's a Heartstrings 3T uh, Oxford shirt. And it, as well, doesn't look like it has ever been worn. Look at the cuffs. They're so crisp. And it's a beautiful blue, classic blue polo. I really don't think, I mean, uh, uh, Oxford shirt, I don't think it's ever been worn. So maybe next fall he can wear this. He's probably like in a two now. All right, for the middle grandson, I didn't want to leave him out. I bought him one thing. And it is a pair of Old Navy, size 6 camo pants and they look at the knees there was nothing on the knees that's always what i look for and oh 50 cent all the children's things were 50 cent a piece they always are at that store and that's why i love that store so much and then again for my baby grandson these will fit next winter and these are all sleepers i don't normally like to buy things like this but these look brand new look at the feet they don't look like they've ever been walked in. Probably by the kid didn't like them or something. I don't know. Where's the other one? This one. I don't know. There's three. And I paid. And they're Carters and they're 3T. I paid 50 cent. You wash them, they're fine. Look at the monsters. But he's the sweetest baby. He's not a monster, but those are really cute. 3T. So 75 cent for three Carters sleepers can't beat it and then i had to buy myself something i bought three pair well two pair of lands in pants these are just knit pants and they have a pocket and they're really cozy feeling they're petites and i'm sh i've got long legs but i'm kind of short i'm only like five two now i've shrank a couple of inches and i bought a navy pair and a green pair. Now the women's things are more expensive. I had to pay $2 a pair for Land's End pants. I know that's a little high, but they're not hurt. There's not a stain on them and they're in great shape. And I love Land's End things. I paid $2 a pair, so there's that. And then I bought a pair of black. They're kind of ultra, ultra suede, stretchy, elastic waistband. I'm, I just, I don't like comfort. And they're Bacini. And they feel so delicious and soft. They're kind of like ultra suede. Two dollars for it. So there's that. I did buy one houseware item and I am in love with it. I love me some hot tea. 
and my favorite is blueberry. My kitchen is cobalt blue, yellow, and I love like the blue willow type dishes and things. So I found this today. I found me a new teapot. Oh, I washed it, see? But look at it. It's gorgeous. I love the style of it. And it looked great. There's a little tiny, tiny, itsy bitsy thing right here. But guess what? We're all flawed. We're a flawed people, and it doesn't bother me. And for $2.50, I bought it. It's styled kind of like a hall teapot, I thought. But it's no, there's no marking. Oh, Lord, about broke it. Lord help. But there's no markings on it. So I don't know what it was. But for $2.50, I love it. And I'll be making me a cup of hot tea in just a little while. So that's about it. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up and comment. And please subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for watching. Bye.